Wild Sheep Foundation presents Sheep Shape. High in the mountains of Nevada, Chad Hall is working hard with the Wild Sheep Foundation on a water guzzler project to help improve bighorn sheep habitat in the arid desert. You know, we came up here early this morning and on a helicopter, mm -hmm. and what, what we had was just desert. Yep. Uh, we'd we'd uh, sling loaded in the, uh, the material earlier this week, but we, we basically have three three components to uh, to a, a, a guzzler project like this. You have the, the apron, which is in effect, is just, it's just a massive roof. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a catchment down at, at its base, you know, obviously gravity fed. Mm -hmm. um, from that catchment will run two, uh, two lines down to four uh, containers. Each of those are about 2,000 gallons each. You know, you get a rain shower, you get a catchment here, storage tanks, and then we, at the same level of those storage tanks, we build a drinker. Mm -hmm. and, and that's what the, the, the Desert Bighorn Sheep and other wildlife will use. Fraternity of the Desert Bighorn has been doing this for 52 years. One day, yep. we build we build a project that uh, that will last for, for more than a decade. Yeah, I know, it's pretty amazing, huh? You know, this is what we do. Yep. This is, you know, this is conservation and stewardship in action. You know, it's, mm -hmm. it's working for wildlife. Man, it's all coming together. Yeah, so it's awesome. It's a, it's a blessing to be a part of this. Yeah, this is, this is kind of the final, the final piece of the puzzle. Um, you know, we got the apron to catch the water, storage tanks to hold it. We've got one line that uh, it's coming from the storage tank over to the drinker. Uh, and what they're doing is, you know, we're, we're putting rocks around this drinker, which is, you know, really just a, you know, a water tank for, mm -hmm. for wildlife to come in and drink from. Uh, they're just cementing it in, to keep it, uh, keep it solid. The objective here is to have as few moving parts as possible. So from a gravity standpoint, it keeps water, balanced. You bet. Water will just stay. Whatever the water level is in the container will be the water level in the drinker. Yeah, that's awesome. The work Chad and the volunteers are doing today will help provide a water supply to the desert bighorns for a decade, a cause that is well worth the sweat falling on the mountain today. Meanwhile, in Alaska, Rick Corona has been holed up in camp waiting for his longtime friend to return from a hunt he embarked on the day before. Rick's elation can be heard ringing through the valley as they approach. <laughs> yes! It was Dude, awesome. I'm so freaking happy for you! <laughs> yes! Are you done? Oh Are my gosh! Dude, we Are haven't hunted! Done? What? It's been raining, we Are couldn't you leave! Me? No! Dude, what a freaking hammer! Yes! That was undoubtedly the most challenging and rewarding thing I've ever done. Oh my so gosh! Fun. Dude, I just looked at it, I'm like, wow! Oh. Holy cow! Uh, seriously, most challenging yet the most rewarding thing I've ever done in my life. Killed it. 3.15 yesterday. 3.15 yesterday. You shot. We went up over the top. He was back down the back side of the very top. Yeah. Up there. He's beautiful. He is absolutely gorgeous. I'm so happy for you, Phil. Crying right now. I think I did cry several times. Go! Rick is just as excited to see a close friend overcome a challenge of this magnitude than he would be to take a ram of his own. A successful hunt is best punctuated by enjoying the sizzle of fresh meat next to a pile of hot coals and sharing the stories of the hunt with a few good friends.